Water releases from nearby Perry Lake and Tuttle Creek Lake have caused the Kansas River to be unsafe today for recreational activities. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live this morning in Lawrence with details on what local kayak guides hope will happen very soon. That's right, Brittany. Right now, the Kansas River has been flowing at about 42,000 cubic feet per second. Now, I know that sounds like a lot of math, but picture a, a milk crate. That's about a cubic foot. Now, picture 42,000 milk crates flowing by each second. That's how powerful the flow in the Kansas River is right now. Denise Selby uh, takes people out on the Kansas River, usually with her business, Dirty Girl Adventures. She says the river is running four four times faster than what is safer for them to take people out, but she hopes that will end soon. Soon the reservoirs will stop releasing. We're in Kansas. It's probably going to stop raining, we hope, um, at which point our river will come back down to a good flow where we can get out on the river. Denise says she believes they will have about a four week window to get out on the river later this summer. Now they've been relying on Lake Shawnee because most of the other local lakes are also flooded this season. And that's part of the problem. After that three to four week window, she says that other lakes that are high, Milford, Perry, Tuttle Creek Lake, Clinton, they will start releasing again once some of the flood water has receded and then they'll be back to square one. Live in Lawrence, James Ryan, KSNT News. All right, thank you, James, for those details. Now, for more information on Denise and her business, Dirty Girl Adventures, as well as just getting out on the river once those river levels recede, you can visit our website, ksnt.com.